I am an advocate of gorilla food planting. Uh, so while I'm here at the yard, I thought I'd take advantage of this time to try to plant several items. These are were leftover tomatoes from our um, shish kebab episode. I had left them out and the animals got to it, but I think they left some of them with the seeds in there. So I'm going to just bury these. And these big ones that you see here, I think are cherries. They're like little round purplish things about this big. I got them at the Chinese restaurant that I was at the other day and saved the seeds. So I don't know if they actually grow or not, but I think they might be worth planting. But I think a cherry tree gets pretty big, so I may have to plant them kind of far away. But I will plant them throughout this area. And then these little seeds you see here came from um, the um, grapes that I had at the Chinese restaurant. So I'm going to try to plant those and see if they'll take root and grow. I'm just going to plant those around various areas close to the yurt, maybe for vines, maybe even around the yurt itself. I don't know. Um, and then hope that everything grows. And if it doesn't, it's okay, you know. But if it grows, there'll be food out here. So the first spots I'm going to look for is where I may try to plant the cherry trees. And I'm thinking I would want them where they would get sunlight and grow. So this might be a good spot right here. I think it would be because then you could harvest the fruits, the cherries here. So I'm probably going to dig over here and try to plant a cherry tree. Um, don't know if it's going to get enough water or not. And I'm not going to be here to water it, but we'll do what we can do. I am simply just digging a hole here, just a little hole. I think I'll dig about two or three inches maybe. And then I'm just going to plop the cherry seed in there if that's what that is. And see if I can't cover it up. I don't even think I'm going to water it. I'll just let it sit there and let the rain do its business. And I'm going to do that all over this area here. You guys remember Johnny Appleseed? Well, this is Denoy Cherry Tree Guy. <laughs> I don't know if we should put one here or not. kind of like it open in this area, so... Um, I think we might put some around and beside or behind the yurt area. We put some out here in the back. Let me go ahead and look and start doing it. I'm not going to film everything, otherwise I'll be here all night. All right, we're at the famed location for the pizza tree that the skunk ape dug up. I don't know if the skunk ape likes cherries or not, but we're going to try to grow one here. I think um, this spot right here looks like a perfect spot. I think this is a good spot here, right in the center right here. So we're going to dig right here, and this time instead of, um, instead of pizza, it's cherry time. So I'm going to put one of these here. Hopefully it'll grow. Alright. Bury our little seed. And just let the uh, nature do its thing. Go ahead and do some more here. If these are indeed cherry trees, I think they grow to be about like um, about 8 feet in diameter. So I wanted to kind of give it enough room. You know, that we can grow. I don't want to put too many of them by each other. The uh, cherry seeds took quite a bit of time. I still have a few left here that I'm going to be um, trying to plant. But now I think I'm going to try the uh, the grapes and the tomatoes. Tomatoes, I think I'm just going to throw them out here. I think I'm going to rip these plants up because I don't know what they are. I hope they're not poison ivy. But I'm going to rip them out and um, clear this area and try to grow tomatoes out here. All right, I planted two of them, and I'm going to plant this other one here. Planted them here. Oh, you can't really see the dig holes, but I planted them, them right by the bench area. And now I'm going to take this. Hopefully there's seeds in there. Uh, they're not even separate. I figure we'll be lucky if we get any to come out. This isn't really dirt, in case you can't see uh, most of what we have around here. It's just sand. You dig in Florida, you don't get dirt. You get sand. So now we've got most of the stuff planted other than the um, potential grapes. These are seeds from grapes. I don't know if they'll actually grow. I guess we're going to find out. 
I figure putting it here by this trellis area that I've made might be a good location. So we're just going to bury it and hope that the um, rain or whatever will be enough to make it come and start to grow. It took quite a bit of work, but I have um, finished planting everything. I planted um, all the seeds that I had surrounding um, Yurt 1.0 all around this whole area here, as well as um, Yurt 2.0 some in the garden area by the benches and then some around the building itself so with any luck hopefully this stuff will actually grow um, most of the squash my wife planted have been dug up by the animals some are still around I think but actually I don't even see any I wonder if the animals here's where they were it looks like they're dying off the squash are dying because they're not getting enough water or something, or too much water. I don't know. I think some of the pepper plants that I threw back here are growing. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I suspect that if they are pepper plants, they'll produce pepper soon. And I guess I can tell then. I do want to pick up some more items as I come back here to just toss them down. Uh, the mango tree doesn't look like it's growing yet. Of course, I didn't really go look, look. But, um... A mango tree or something like that could take a very long time. I'm not sure how long the cherry trees take to grow, but a lot of this stuff, if they do grow, may grow um, when I'm not even around here anymore. But maybe 20, 30 years from now, someone will come by here, even 10 years from now, and there'll be free food. This area may not be here. It may end up getting bulldozed um, with new development, whatever they're going to try to build over here. But if they don't, at least I tried to plant some stuff. Well, until next time, everybody, I hope you have a great day. Take care and thanks for tuning in.